Come up today on Nick's Game & View video game publisher seeks CG movie graphics with next generation consoles. Square Enix hosts a killer sale on Xbox Live Marketplace and North America the finally received highly requested 3DS XL model. This is Nick's Game & View. Hello everyone and welcome to Nick's Game Review. You're here with your host, Nick McCandless. CD Projekt Red, the development studio behind the Witcher franchise, has released a statement regarding the potential of their new Red Engine 3 powered by high performance PCs that confirms PlayStation 4 and likely the next Xbox. Quote, with the new renderer we haven't unveiled yet, we want to achieve CG movie quality for our game's graphics, end quote. Ever since Avatar hit theaters, gamers everywhere began dreaming of a video game matching the visual fidelity of the movie James Cameron invested over a decade into producing. Has technology reached the point where this is now possible? Seems a bit extreme to me, but we shall all see next year when Witcher 3 hits store shelves on next generation platforms. Owners of Microsoft's Xbox 360 who have yet to experience Deus Ex Human Revolution, Kanan Lynch 2, and Sleeping Dogs should all rejoice as Square Enix is hosting a 50% off sale where for $14.99 gamers can download Deus Ex Human Revolution, for $9.99 Kanan Lynch 2, and for $19.99 Sleeping Dogs. It's nice to see Microsoft step up their online promotional deals as an attempt to compete head to head with Steam's regular sales, but act fast as the promotion ends on March 18th. Wrapping up next game review, Nintendo's Pikachu 3DS XL, currently exclusive to Japan and the UK, may be migrating to North America thanks to a hint from the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Games to Infinity TV commercial. Airing to North America, the commercial clearly features the Pikachu 3DS XL in the hands of one of the actors, and while it could just be because it's Pokemon related, it would be a bit odd to advertise a demanded product to North American consumers and not follow through with a release. Well, that concludes today's episode of Nick's Game Review, but be sure to follow me on Twitter at Nick McCandless and check back daily for Nick's Game Review for your daily access pass to all things gaming.